this problem is the fourth and the last problem in the set of uh, problems on flip-flops. And uh, this problem is uh, on the flip-flop along with the associated uh, digital circuitry connected uh, to it. So we'll uh, uh, read out the problem here. Uh, this is of gate 2008. It's of two marks and flip-flops. For the circuit shown in the figure, D has a transition from 0 to 1 after a clock changes from 1 to 0. Assume uh, gate delays to be negligible. Which of the following statement is true? And there are four statements given here and we have to find out which statement is true. And the corresponding uh, diagram here is uh, that uh, this is the diagram. Uh, this diagram consists of, uh, yeah, this part is uh, consisting of the uh, NOR latch. There are two NOR gates connected prior to this NOR latch and there is an inverter connected here. And the inputs to the NOR latches are applied. One is the clock signal and the other D input. And what we observe from here is there is a clock, high clock, there is one and that makes a transition at this point. That goes from one to zero. Uh, at that time D input is low zero, but after some time the clock has made a transition, this D input also makes a transition from 0 to 1. So we have to find out the output of this latch at this transition as well as at this transition. Okay, so there are two uh, inputs uh, which we have to find uh, the corresponding outputs. Now uh, we'll see here uh, this uh, at the clock transition. We see at the clock transition what is happening at the clock transition. Let's see. Uh, you can see here uh, at the clock transition uh, we can uh, just refer to this. When the clock is making a transition that means the clock has become zero, so this would be a zero, and uh, this input also to this would be zero. Okay, now the D input is applied to this. This D input would be zero, while this D is inverted through this and is applied to the other NOR, so this would be one. So, when both these are zero, you will get one output here and this will give me a zero output. So, this is, what is the state here? This is S and R inputs of uh, NOR latch. That means they are active high. So, here set input is one and reset is zero. So, the flip-flop would be set. That means the Q output would be high because this is a set and a set. And what is the Q output? This is high here. So this will be 1 and this is 0. You please notice here, normally uh, for the NOR latch, uh, the terminal which is opposite to R is Q terminal and the opposite to S is the Q bar terminal this has been put inverted. That means the Q bar is terminal is up and the Q is down. So basically uh, this is the Q input. So this Q input would be 1 here. That means this is a set condition. Okay. Now for the transition of D that makes after some time when D becomes high, this D would be high, that means this input would be 1 here, 
this input would be 1 and the clock is already low so this will be low so this will become 0 here and now here if you see this clock is slow and this input has become high so this would be 0 so 0 this will become 1 now this is 1 now it is a reset state and reset state means the output here would be 0 that's a reset that means the output here would be 0 so uh, we can see the second here you can just uh, see uh, we have seen in the case about a clock transition uh, NAR1 output is 1 so NAR1 clock 0 and D0 so this is S is 1 and this is R is 1 so latch is set that it Q is 0 now when D makes a transition for the need this transition NAR1 we have seen clock is 0 this is 1 then output is 0 that is S is 0 and reset is 1 so now reset is active reset active means the Q output will be 0 and Q bar will be 1 so you can uh, see the option here uh, the option C uh, what the option C says this option C uh, says that uh, Q goes 1 at the clock transition and goes Q goes to 1 at the clock transition and goes to 0 when D goes 1 so this is the right option that first the flip flop is uh, set and then it is uh, reset okay please thank you